Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to talk about specifically my personal experience of buying from a fashion file here in Canada. Um, I know that when I was trying to make my first attempt to buy from the fashion file, uh, I actually did a research on YouTube hoping to find somebody who's got a similar experience. Um, I would like to know about, you know, how much duty tax uh, that Canada's gonna charge me um, from buying from uh, Fashion File, and also is it is it really um, authentic? Uh, how was experience with the shipping? Uh, is it worth your efforts to actually buy a pre-owned luxury pieces from uh, uh, you know across board? So those were my concerns, and when I did my research on YouTube, unfortunately, I realized that uh, some people are not open to share the financial numbers um, on, on, on videos. So I was not able to find out exactly um, how much it's gonna cost me um, if I were to buy from Fashion File. So anyhow, I still made my attempt to buy from them. Um, and here I am with this Chanel reissue 225 H calf skin and the silver palladium um, sorry, sorry, silver premium hardware, uh, age calf skin with a red interior. So this is the item, it's size two to five. So this is the one and the only piece I got from Fashion File. Um, so my experience with Fashion File uh, happened in this July, 2020. It was during our first lockdown. Uh, during this COVID pandemic. So for those of you who are considering to buy from them at this point, I hope this information is relative and informative. Um, I'm going to be talking about this company from multiple perspectives. Number one is why I chose the fashion file over the real real. Uh, because I, I know that these are two biggest online pre-owned luxury providers uh, here in North America. And um, I both spent a lot of time on these two websites just so I, I want to make a, uh, I want to make a decision as to which one to go for. So after spending so much time looking on their websites, the reason I decided to choose the fashion file over the real real is because of three reasons, three major reasons. Number one is I like the fact that Fashion File owns the inventories. So they literally spend their own money and buying in those pre-owned luxury goods before selling it to our uh, consumers. And whereas with Real Real, you, uh, you know, consumers, well, some for sellers can sign with them. And after the pieces are sold, uh, the Real Real gets part of the commissions and then the rest goes back to the seller. Um, now, the problem with this one from my perspective is that um, there might not be as a strict process in authenticating as when the fashion file actually invests your own money first and buy in their own inventory. So that was one of the biggest reasons that I like about the fashion file is that they own the pieces and they I I would imagine if I had to spend if I own the company if I had to spend a certain amount of money to buy in a certain inventory I want to make sure that this is an authentic piece and you know because I'm taking on all the risk so I like the fact that fashion file owns their own inventory secondly I like the fact that fashion file has a much detailed uh, pictures and descriptions. So when you visit the real real, all you see is a, a picture, a generalized picture with uh, no details, no clarifications as to, you know, if there's damages or not. So no description. Basically, it's a copy and paste description on the real real. However, with fashion file, you will see a very very clear pictures and you can even zoom in and to see 
you know the damages that they put on their description so i really like about it um because when you are buying from another countries especially when you you know paid your um conversion currency conversion rates you paid your duty taxes the the last thing you want is to uh receive a bag with surprises bad surprises so i really like about the fact that fashion file is putting some effort and you know um investments into taking really good quality pictures and descriptions um so that's the second reason third reason is because i like their larger selection of inventory um i have been waiting for these pieces for a long time and i've been searching on both websites uh, for a while and i noticed that uh fashion file always has something similar like i do see a lot of a lot more availabilities with this piece in a gold plate uh, gold, gold hardware instead of the platinum hardware but with the real real i don't see that much maybe because people people like to sell directly to a to a buyer instead of consigning i don't know but um when you look at the fashion file you just you just see reliability and you see professionalism you sh you see good management and with the real real i don't know what's going on with them i i i just don't feel safe when i when i'm spending you know tens of thousands of dollars on something and then but then this this you know provider is not it's not being it's not being careful with their websites I and mean, i don't know like i don't i don't see them spending too much time and effort in maintaining and providing good information to their websites that's my personal experience uh uh, you know some of you might have different experience but that's really my personal experience anyhow so i got this chanel reissue 225 in july 2020 um and it's in the age cow skin i have my notes down here and at the time chanel just had their price increase so when i was looking at chanel websites i know that it's currently retailing for about eight thousand dollars something plus tax in canada so you're looking at about ten thousand dollars for a brand new chanel issue um so that's if they have inventories because sometimes i know uh just because you want this item you don't always get it so ten thousand dollars in canada in july 2020 if you want to get a brand new one so when i was looking at the fashion file i know i found one that was selling for five thousand us dollars and um you know i made my decision i you know i bought it and with the conversion rate i it it cost me about 6800 canadian dollars in total with handling uh and 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 paying out all the other fees now there's one thing i wasn't thinking about when i made my purchase and that is a duty tax i didn't know that there's actually duty tax well i i was aware that they, there's going to be duty tax but i was thinking maybe in a couple hundred of hundred dollars so i wasn't expecting to pay a lot until i received this ups notice duty tax due uh, thing so i was um i was quite surprised with the amount of duty tax that they charge on me uh so the shipping took about three to five days yeah so I was really, really happy with the shipping just because I know it was during the pandemic that there might be some delay in the item arriving at my door. Um, so I was expecting some delay. However, I actually received this uh, notice, well, UPS notice on the third day when the item was shipped from the States. And all I need actually is to pay off the duty tax in order to receive the item. So I got my item in the fourth day or the fifth day, in the fourth day, I believe. So it's really, really fast. Uh, very happy with that. And then the only thing is I'm not happy with the duty tax. I paid about, let me take a look. I paid about 1200 Canadian dollars to, for this item. So total adds up to $8,000 for this piece. Um, this is a 2011 purse it's not a brand new one so uh you know this is just facts information for you guys uh providing to you guys hopefully 
you guys can make an informed decision as to whether it's worth your money and efforts to buy from a pre-owned luxury uh, website in the States, or maybe you should just spend that extra $2,000 in the store and get a brand new one. Um, you know, I wasn't aware of the duty tax. I wasn't aware of how much it's going to cost me. So I didn't know that, but, um, here, here I am. Um, I, I have been enjoying this, uh, every single day. I wear this to work. I wear this to, uh, grocery shopping sometimes. Uh, I really like the fact that it's, uh, it, even though it's a 2011 piece, it's, it stands the time of test. It's really good. Everything looks fine to me. I'm not like huge, huge, um, I'm not huge, huge detail orientated, so I don't really, you know, magnify every single little uh, uh, detail, uh, like damages. So I'm really happy with the piece that I got, and I, I'm not planning to sell this item in the next uh, five years. So it's okay if I have to pay eight thousand dollars for this piece. I'm not planning to sell it anyway. So uh, it's a uh, no great, no regret. However, if you were to ask me. Will I buy from Fashion File again? I my answer is probably no. Unless I'm in the states, I can save my Canadian duty tax. Uh, then I don't see any real savings uh, to buy from to buy from Fashion File. Now there could be one exception, and that is that if I'm looking for something really unique, like I'm seeing a lot of Chanel minis, like caviar leather Chanel minis, available on their website, even though it's retailing for crazy prices. But if one day I have the money, I really want to own that piece and I cannot find it here in Canada, I might be able to, I might, uh, you know, make another attempt to buy from Fashion Fire. Just because I know that they have much larger selections. Um, that's not probably, that's not easy to find here in Canada. Here in Canada, I do find some pre-owned shops. Unfortunately, they don't have a larger selection of, inventories so with fashion fire i really like the fact that i have hermes they have chanel they have everything you could think of um it's just a matter of the price and real savings so if one day i decide to own maybe an ex exotic hermes piece or a chanel piece i might consider to buy from fashion fire again but in you know in no time soon i don't think i'm gonna be buy from that website just because of duty tax in Canada. If you know, if I could save twelve hundred dollars from duty tax, I, I am gonna. I am so happy to own this piece. Sixty eight hundred dollars is is a total bargain for me, at least to me. So I'm really happy. I'm really happy with the item that I got. I'm happy with the whole experience. It's a good lesson learned. Um, I'm hoping that this information is uh, helpful to those of you out there who are thinking about buying from Fashion File here in Canada. Uh, you know, this is a pandemic period. So, you know, a lot, I know a lot of us are spending time at home uh, buying, buying things online. So, you know, if you are looking for something really, really exotic, uh, it's a it's it's good it's good experience to buy from fashion fire so that's it for today's video if you guys have any questions please comment down below please um give me a thumbs up i'm a new youtuber uh, i know i have broken information i repeat myself all the time please help me out with my new channel subscribe comment down below give me that advice uh, give me advice on how to approve improve my videos that's it Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.